Hi, this is Jessica. We're going to look at a digital workflow recipe today. So what we want to do is take this print worksheet and get it on the iPad so that we can zoom in and complete our work on screen. So the app we're going to use is GoodNotes. And I'm calling this a recipe because this is just one option to meet our goal, just to get this, this document scanned and on the iPad. And today we're not trying to get the text editable or so we can listen to it with text to speech. We want to just get this document on there and we're going to be zooming in and reading it visually. So the app we're using is called GoodNotes. In the App Store, you'll see GoodNotes 5. That's the most recent version. And my iPad right now is running iOS 13. So if you have an older um, operating system or an older version of the app, it might look a little different. So we're going to open up Good Notes. I have on my documents page, I have the option for new. Let's see, new. I tap that. And the two things that, there's several options here. Two things we could do right now is scan the document or take a photo. Both um, will work. We're going to just choose take a photo today. And I'm going to line up my document to fill up the screen on my iPad. I know that's a little bit off camera, but I have a shutter button on the right side in the middle. I'll tap that. So, and at the bottom right, it says use photo. So right now it's put it on my shelf and then it opened up the document and I can zoom in. <clears throat> so, and I can zoom in with a pinch gesture with two fingers and then move around to read. So read each number in the table below to around each number in the table below to the nearest 10. And I'm going to use my stylus here. I have the pen tool I can tap. Of course, there's lots, lots of options for colors and line width. And I'm going to go ahead and write my answer here. So that's 50. I also can create a text box. So if I tap text box, I can put that where I want it on screen by tapping where I want it. I can use dictation here, 20. Of course, I can also tap on the on-screen keyboard, or if I have an external keyboard, I could use that. So let's say I finished my assignment, and now I need to turn that in. I'm going to send it to my teacher. So depending on what process you would be using that you set up with your teacher for that, you can use the button up here that's the uh, send to button with the box with an arrow coming out of the top and you get an option to export this page. If you have more than one page you would export all. And we can send it as a PDF and we have a couple toggle switches here. Turn these things on and off and we want it, we do want to include the page background and we want to include the annotation. I don't need to recognize the handwriting right now. So the page background is the page we took the picture of and the annotation is what we wrote on top. So tap those both on and then when you export you'll get options depending upon what apps are on your iPad. You could um, of course email it or you could send send it um, through Google Classroom or put it in Google Drive. However you're going to set up to share that with your teacher. All right.